Kelvin and I uh, were drafted in the same year. And then I remember TV was on and it said, the rockets are mo moving to Houston. We were the guys that nobody knew. There's something inside of me that says, uh, they don't think you're good. You gotta prove it to them. I just always had that fire that I had to prove to other people that I could do it. Goes to Tom Gunner at 20 footer, Rudy T2. Within a couple of years, I made the all-star team. Being in that locker room with the guys that I admired a lot was really a big jump for me. As an assistant coach, you make suggestions, <laughs> but as a head coach, you make a decision. Steve Patterson offered it to me, and I was stunned. And the Rudy Tomjanovich era begins here in Houston. The whole choke city was a real tough bump to go over. You know, what crossed my mind is, that's going to be my legacy. That's going to be how people remember me. Like we would say, let's stick together. Let's do this together, man. We did it all year together. Let's do it now. Our guys understood what Rocket Ball was all about. Sammy picks out on team for the slam. won that, that championship, that was Clutch City. The thing that was so good about our guys is that when we were back against the wall, nobody was better. This is for the fans of the Rockets all over the world. A championship, there's nothing like it. It's like a fairy tale, it, it really was. How sweet it is! Very proud to be a part of Houston. You know, the fans have been great. It was just amazing, very emotional that they were behind us like that. I have one thing to say to those non-believers. Don't ever underestimate the heart of a champion. On behalf of the Rockets players and all of us in Houston, we have so much to thank Rudy Tomjanovich. And we welcome Rudy as the newest inductee into the Houston Sports Hall of Fame. It's so great to be back in Houston. I'd like to thank the Houston Sports Authority for this tremendous honor. And I'd like to congratulate Carl and Mary Lou for being inducted. Uh, they not only made Houston proud, they made the whole country proud. So there's three of us going in this year two sports cars and an old uh, station wagon. <laughs> Akeem and Clyde were scheduled to be here and uh, they're off honoring our great uh, uh, commissioner, David Stern, and I love and respect them for doing that. Uh, <clears throat> I am very happy that Robert's here and I'm very happy that Otis Thorpe is here. Uh, it, it means a lot to me. People, I want to tell you, I don't think I have the words to express how grateful I was to have the opportunity to coach such good people. They worked hard, they played together, and they never quit. It was a privilege to coach them, and they are the reason I'm standing here today. Now, as a boy, I played all the sports, but I loved basketball the, the most. Uh, I was a slow starter. In junior high, I did not play one possession the whole year. I got in against the teachers, and I got the ball, and I, the French teacher was checking me, and I gave him a fake, and he went back, and I let it go, air ball. The next year I tried out for the freshman team and I found out I was being cut, but before the uh, coach could announce it, I challenged him to a game of one-on-one -on -one and he let me be on the team. You know, I just love basketball. It's all I thought about and <clears throat> I even carved I love basketball into uh, my bedpost. And, and when I went to bed at night, I had my hand on it, and I dreamed, I dreamed, 
And I'm one of the fortunate people who can say that my life turned out better than my dreams. You know, but it wasn't an, an easy road uh, for me. I had doubters. I had people who didn't believe in me because uh, I wasn't a natural. You know, I wasn't a great uh, athlete, and I had to work at it. And I guess uh, you can say the same thing about my coaching career. I didn't have that authoritative personality that many of the coaches have, but I found a way to communicate with my players just being me. And, and if there's something that I want to pass on to the young kids, just like Carl said, keep dreaming. You know, you have to dream, but you got to know the only way that they come true is through hard, hard work. There's no substitute. Uh, I've had a lot of people help me. Uh, I've had great support. I want to thank uh, Charlie Thomas and then Les Alexander for letting me coach the Rockets. Uh, coaching is, is a very difficult job, but I was, I was pretty well prepared because uh, I worked for some great coaches, uh, Dal Harris, Bill Fitch, Don Chaney, and uh, I want to thank all my assistant coaches uh, for their hard work and for their loyalty, but one in particular, Carol Dawson, he's my big brother, he's my mentor. He promised me he would, he would share his vast knowledge of the game, and he did. It was like I was in a, 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 uh, in a foxhole with my brother, and he had a great sense of humor, and it's good to smile when things get tough. And as we go through life, you know, we have some important relationships. And one of the most important in my life was with a guy by the name of Calvin Murphy. I, I roomed with that guy for nine years. What an assignment. And I watched that little sneaky son of a gun very closely. And what I saw was how hard he practiced, how he pre prepared himself for every game, and how he played through injury. And I want to say to you, Murph, Thanks for inspiring me. You made me better. You know, I've, I've talked a lot about hard work, and, and a lot of times when Dad's out chasing his dreams, the children in the family suffer. But not in my family, because we had an MVP, and that MVP was Sophie T. And she did a tremendous job raising my three kids. Uh, two of them are here today, Nicole and Trey, and they know how proud I am of, they know how proud I am of my basketball accomplishments, but it doesn't come close to how proud I am of them for just being good people. And lastly, I want to, I want to thank the great sports fans of Houston. Thank you for pushing us to higher heights. Thank you for sticking with us when we had setbacks. And thank you for believing. I love you, Houston. Thank you so much for showing up, and we'll see you next year.